today I want to talk about positive health. What is positive health? In the 1960s, Abraham Maslow, a famous psychologist, defined three levels of health, three grades of health. Psychopathology, normal mental health, and a category called positive mental health. Now, mind you, in, in the mental domain, this positive mental health is pretty obvious. Positive mental health are those people who have positive signatures of their mental health, like they're creative, they're a little transformed, they're capable of more loving, and we notice those things much more easily. But I suggest that in the physical domain too, we can uh, classify health in those three, same three different ways. There's pathology, that's obvious. We have illness, so we can tell illness from wellness. And then there is normal. And we don't have any real illness, although we can contact them sometimes, they go away. We don't have chronic illness. Or even if we had a little chronic illness, but we are maintaining health pretty much. We had our self-images that I have normal health, nothing beyond what people normally suffer from, a little kink here, a little pain there, you know, that we accept. So that's normal health. And then there is, I submit, positive health. What's the difference? Now, in allopathic medicine, we obviously cannot make any difference except between wellness and illness. In fact, disease is absence of health. That's how disease is to be defined. So we don't get very much about how positive health should be defined or is there such a thing from allopathic medicine. But in the alternative medicine, which we, uh, with the help of quantum physics, we now can integrate alternative and conventional materialist medicine with the subtle body medicine, which talks about medicines of the vital level, of the mental level, even higher levels of our uh, consciousness. So we can, we can, we can uh, talk about health in a much more general way. So in this way of thinking, we can actually define normal health, positive health, and pathological illness situation. So what's the distinction? Actually, the Chinese distinguished, uh, gave us a way of distinguishing, although they did not specifically dwell on this question, but gave us a way of distinguishing that happened millennia ago. In the Chinese system, there is a concept of vital energy again called qi. Today we call it vital energy, Indians call it prana, in Japan it's called ki. But it is something that you feel, it's vitality that you feel. And when you feel vitality, you know that you are okay, you are healthy. When you are ill, you don't feel vitality. So Chinese say that this feeling of vitality, feeling of wellness, that comes from balance of two aspects of this qi. What are the two aspects? They call it yin and yang. In is the conditioned aspects of health, the stability aspects of health, the aspect that bring us that ongoing stability. And yang is the ability to make changes. Why should you make changes? Because in the ongoing way of things of the world, uh, the in has some forces against, uh, against itself. The stability doesn't last. The entropy law, deterioration, environmental conditions, these things will change the state of stability. And so you need yang, creativity, possibilities, exploration of possibilities to bring in new aspects which will give you normal health. So we have to have a balance between yin and yang. Conditioning and creativity, way of handling the vital aspect of our life, vital energy. So when do we get pathology? Pathology is when you have a real imbalance. 
that's pathology. Normal, only slight imbalance this way or that way, but you are basically maintaining balance between creativity and conditioning so that a little bit, if a little bit imbalance takes place, your creativity will make up for the imbalance and balance will be restored. And that quick restoration of balance is what makes us normally healthy. Our perception of ourselves is healthy. And then, what is the definition of positive health? Now here, the Chinese did not spell it out, but they gave a beautiful description of it. They said, well, after balance comes harmony. What does that mean? Well, why, where do you encounter this word harmony? If you're musical, you'll recognize immediately that for music, we have harmony, the concept of harmony. For example, a chord of several tones will give us harmony. This harmonious mixture. So not only balance, but a harmonious mixture. How can we make yin and yang mix them up in a harmonious way so that some and what is happening, the whole this, their quality will be different. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Harmony. Something extra is being produced. So positive health is to be defined as harmony. We can go a little bit further. In quantum physics, we say that creativity at its best is the exploration of the archetype. But in particular, archetype like wholeness. In fact, if you look at etymologically, healing and wholeness comes from the same basic Greek root, wholeness. So when you investigate the archetype of wholeness, and this is the key. When you investigate the archetype of wholeness with creativity, yang can be used for just establishing the balance, situational creativity. Little disease has taken place, you have the ability to heal that. Normal health. But positive health, you do more than that. You use your creativity to investigate wholeness itself. And then you become a representation of wholeness. This positive health can revolutionize the health scene because people of positive health will even radiate health. In other words, in the presence of positive health, people of positive health, other people will feel confidence. The placebo effect is partially because of these aspects of positive health, which many healers have, and healers who have the positive health, they get better effect with placebo effect. Because patients innately will trust, will believe whatever this person does, with the healing ability of the healer. But of course, today's healers mostly use machines, so this Gradually, we are losing the concept of positive health. But if you have ever encountered some of the old-fashioned healers, in television, we get the image, especially in television series that was made in the 60s, like Marcus Welby, you know, you get, a, you get a clear feeling, well, this fellow has credibility. Just the mere sight of him would make you feel better. That's the image of positive health of the healer. And we have to bring back that tradition. We are bringing it back in quantum integrative medicine.